Well, I've enjoyed a few days on the road out in the bush, exploring Spitzkopper, and then up and down the Skeleton Coast. It's been amazing. I mean, the, the scenery and the change and the diversity from the desert to the coast, from the mountains to the flat plains. Oh, it's been exciting. And now I'm heading for a little bit of civilization. Pretty much the only town on the coast I'm heading to today, Swakopman. Oh, it's cold. That water is oh, so cold. Oh, okay, definitely no swimming here. The one of the signs is no swimming. There's no way you'd catch me swimming here. Swakopmund. Namibia's premier seaside town. And when I say premier, I don't mean it's like flashy and glitzy. I pretty much mean it's almost their only seaside town. But it's a nice town. It's an old town. Uh, a lot of the buildings are from 1800s and early 1900s, giving a nice sort of old, almost village feel. Typical seaside town. There is uh, beautiful beaches, great restaurants, excellent seafood, of course, being right by the Atlantic Ocean here. Uh, seafood is one of the, the main uh, things in the restaurants. Fishing. The activity, there's also lots of other activities. Uh, there's quite a lot of close. Namibia is, uh, sorry, Swakopmund is sandwiched between the Atlantic Ocean on one side and, uh, okay, that's not it, the desert on the other side. Putting it in a very unique and uh, amazing location. I'll uh, try and show you some footage from the air just to show you the situation that Swakopmund is in. Makes it a very special place to visit. It's uh, sort of halfway up and down the country as well. So when you're doing a tour of Namibia, it's quite good to swap, uh, stop in at Swakopmund and just sort of refresh and civilize, especially if you've been camping in the hot, dusty areas all the time. Um, no, oh. <laughs> um, it's nice to sort of take a break and get some civilization, shall we say. Go out and eat in a restaurant instead of eating your own camp food. Sleep in a, a proper bed instead of having to put up the roof tent or put out a tent each night. It, uh, it's nice. Good afternoon ladies. Good afternoon. Are you having lunch? Yes, we are having lunch. And what's for lunch? We've uh, got chicken and broccoli. Sounds lovely. Well, we're going to Cafe Anton, the Hotel Schweizer House, which has a reputation of being one of the posh must go to restaurants in Swakopmund. Apparently does very good apple strudel. So here I am off to already looking fit. Okay am I looking nice and tidy to go to a posh restaurant? Ah oh well let's hope they don't notice I haven't got any shoes on. I uh, just parked the car and sort of left the shoes in the car because I was uh, at the beach and uh, I sort of got wet and sandy and my shoes are a real mess. So I thought it'd be easy to leave them than to trail a mess. Let's see if they hope they think the same. Here we are. Cafe and top. Wow. Yes. And is it possible to get a pot of tea? Yes, of course. 
Would you like some um, cream with it? Are you with the group? No, no, no. Thank you very much. Oh, here at Cafe Anton in Swakopmund. Best patisserie and bakery apparently in the country. And uh, they either didn't notice or they didn't care. I didn't have any shoes on. And uh, for my low fat, healthy diet, apple strudel mit room, with cream. Apple strudel and cream. It's healthy because it's fruit, it's an apple. Hmm. It looks good. It's full of apple. None of this skimpy apple business. It's got full of apple. Mmm. And it's warm. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm.